guys, this is Abby, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about good and bad rabbit cages. So first, I'm going to talk about bad cages that I don't recommend ever using. The first are any cages with a wire bottom. The wire constantly on your rabbit feet will hurt them and can easily cause sore hocks. If you do have to use a cage like this for whatever reason, I would recommend having a spot where your rabbit can get off of the wire floor. Next is any tiny pet store cage that is less than eight square feet. I wouldn't recommend any cage that is smaller than eight square feet unless your rabbit is completely free ranged in a room or a house and that's just where the litter box and water bowl is. Other than that, if the rabbit can't be out more than say six or eight hours or more a day, then do not use any tiny, tiny cages. So now on to hutches and hutches can be very good cages but I do not recommend any of the hutches that have an open bottom if it is outside in the grass if it's on pavement or in a house then it's totally fine but if you have an open bottom on the grass then say a weasel comes along they could easily dig right under that and get into the rabbit like nothing. So make sure if you have a hutch that it's perfectly safe and think about every type of predator that could be around you just for extra precaution. And also if you have to have a hutch outside, make sure that your rabbit feels safe in it as well. So now I'm going to be talking about good cages that I would recommend and that if you're looking for a cage, you can look into some of these. The first cage, which I don't really recommend, but you can use a pet store cage, but only use this if you get the big biggest one which is usually two feet by four feet and if you have to use one of these then make sure you offer lots and lots of playtime or just use it as a home base for say a room but if you already have one then you can put it to good use and if you have a smaller one you could use it as a litter box or something like that the next good cages are hutches now hutches can be good they're really expensive for the amount of space that they give but as long as you have a safe hutch or it's inside then, I mean, they're perfectly fine cages. So keep in mind that your rabbit most likely will chew the wood of it, so you may or may not want to get one. And also, they can get kind of yucky over time if the rabbit pees on it constantly and things like that. Next cages, which I really recommend, are DIY cages such as NIC cages or life hack type cages. A lot of people have built cages out of certain types of furniture. A lot of people have built cages out of furniture, which is really cool. And NIC cages, I, I find, are the cheapest you can build one for around for as little as $50 if you find the right stuff and plus you can customize it to however you want if you have a certain amount of space another type of cage that you can buy if you want to is like a leaf petworks cage these are nice looking cages and a good size but they are very expensive but if you just want to buy a cage then these are a good option the next type of cage is a dog pen cage or an X pen as some people call it this is probably the cheapest cage you can do for a rabbit and plus it's really easy to move around if you have to as well and also you can get these pretty much anywhere in the world because they're meant for dogs and not bunnies and they can also be used as add-ons to a cage that you already have and they can also be used to block off certain areas of playtime or to bring them outside and they're just really really nice to have but if you get one I recommend getting a 36 inch or bigger I recommend more towards the 42 inch to 48 inch inch size just to be safe. The next type of cage is a rabbit shed. If you have like a shed outside you could turn it into a rabbit room. Now this is a good option for some but I personally wouldn't like having my rabbits far away like that but if it works for you then it is a good option. Next is having a rabbit room. Now this isn't like a cage but you're basically setting up a whole room just for your bunnies and you can just have them in that room 24 7 and they can run around whenever they want. In my opinion this is the best setup there is and I would personally love to have this set up. If you have a smaller room that you could use or anything like that, then this is a great option. And lastly is free range, which is basically letting your bunny go 
throughout your house or just a couple rooms. I probably wouldn't do this just because I'd be a little bit paranoid, but for a lot of people it is a good option. But if you do this, I do recommend having a little home base for them just for the litter box and to have a couple of toys just so then they feel like something is there. So yeah guys, that's it for this video of good and bad rabbit cages. What kind of cage do you have? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, remember to thumbs it up and anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!